basically, my read of the research literature says four things. Characterize settings where you see more routine walking, bicycling, and transit use. And they are a greater variety of different kinds of destinations and proximity. What a planner would say, a mix of land uses. Two, a good connected network of facilities for active travel. So walking, bicycling, think sidewalks, bicycle lanes, pathways, multi-use trails. Three, when I get to a destination, it is designed to reward me rather than punish me for showing up without my car. Think about most of what we've built in the last 30 or 40 years. It says, show up with your car. I'll show you right where to park it. But you want to get here on foot. I don't even know how you get to the front door, frankly, if you're on foot or on a bicycle. Right? And then the last one is it's got to be safe and accessible for everybody in the community, all ages, all incomes, all abilities and disabilities, somebody in a wheelchair or pushing a, a stroller or pulling a grocery cart, somebody who's visually impaired or blind. So these four things, I know this is a gross simplification, but it's essentially the piles the research falls into. You get these four things. Indeed, for the six years that I served on my local planning board, this was my mental checklist. I was asking on every project we permitted, are we doing these things more than not doing them?